Okay, welcome back to the Brewing Station with DJ Croft. And this one here is um, pretty much a complete setup. I have actually skipped ahead a little bit, but because this is a very tedious task, um, I'll put a bit of roofing on, but that doesn't matter for the moment. What I've done here is this mine, I've just moved to down here. So this one doesn't connect to there. So the input is actually beside all the outputs. So this single input, um, well, looks good. So you can just add your items to this one, and then you'll end up with your brewing uh, potions in these ones. Now, if you want to include splash potions as well as non-splash potions, you do actually have to use two sorting machines. But if you're just doing splash potions, then you could do a setup like this one. I've done uh, healing potions and regeneration potions in one chest, strength potions in one chest, po poison potions one chest, harming, weakness, fire resistance, swiftness, and slowness. All in that each one of these rows represents one chest. And now, of course, on this side I have a matching side, but these ones aren't splash potions. So same colours as so as you can see here. Same colours, healing and regeneration on pink, and healing and regeneration splash potions on pink. So they'll all go to this chest here, which is currently empty. Righto, that's your. So all that's happened, these ones have outputted from this chest where your outputted potions would normally go. What I've done here is I've connected them both up to my blue tricity circuit and gave them a redstone pulse as well which is going to order these all perfectly. So I can just, if I don't have any potions on me, so I won't worry about it. But this one here, you do need to have, make a few choices in what you want to be, um, be um, primary, secondary, and extenders and whatnot, because some of them actually do have um, extra kind of thing. So redstone can be here as well as here. Um, the fermented spider can be in all three, I think, spider eye. So I've made a choice here to only make uh, awkward potions here, which does most of your potions. And then I've chose these secondaries. You could always, if you want, if you wanted more blue um, in your secondaries, um, you can put two there, and you can put the rest here. So you can just chuck them there as well. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and then here's your. Um, right, that's off. So in this one, these three here are the extenders. So all you would do is add your certain items in here. Say, say I was making what I did in the previous videos, uh, the regeneration potion extended. So I just put sand in, ten sand in here, ten um, ghast eyes, a ghast tears, should I say, um, ten nether warts, and ten redstone. If I want to make a splash potion, I could just chuck in gunpowder instead. But that's pretty much it for this one. I'll just show you what it looks like when it's all covered up. Alright, here's the finale. And this is the final finished version of my brewing factory station. Whatever you want to call it. Brewing factory station thing. Yep, that'll do. Rightio, so... Oh, look, specials. Harming potions. Oh, 4 dollars Harm your friends today for only 4 dollars um, I named this one DJ's House of Brewing, and I made a little bit of a entrance area, covered all up, put signs in front of all the chests where there should be um, potions in, which there obviously aren't because I never got around to it. Um, there's the input chest in the corner, and of course, if you were making this for anyone but yourself, you may want to put, say, on this thing here or on this side even, um, signs saying what ingredients are needed for all potions. And of course, oops, I didn't quite finish that bit there. I can just quickly do that now. That was there the whole time. Um, in through here, I made a bit of a viewing, view, viewing, a viewing station, so you can take all your little guests. Oh, look, have a look here. This is where it all starts, everybody. And of course, if you're worried about something breaking, you could just put a little bit of a it's what I would call a service entry. Just put no entry. Service staff only. There you go, so you can still get in there if you needed to. And of course, if you want to be a smart ass, you could put you know, an iron uh, door there and wire up to some redstone in some secret spot, whatever. 
but here we are you can see it all there from the viewing station I've put a little bit of a glass roof on it and I've put some torches in there to stop anything spawning and that's about it for this one I hope you liked this little mini series I definitely enjoyed trying to create this and spent a lot of time actually trying to perfect it ready for use for the video um, so if you like this one give us a thumbs up subscribe like our Facebook page and of course post on our wall any video requests for the future DJ out